Hey, this is Odette with another polymer clay tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pendant using a brain cane. Uh, for this brain cane, I made a Skinner blend. I use Copper Primo and Alsarian Primo. Also, I have two solid colors, white and black Primo as well. And I rolled out this Skinner blend on the Thick City with Pasta Machine which is a number zero, and the white and the black too. Um, I'm going to trim the edges on each side. And also I stack them on top of each other. You can see um, the Skinner blend is on the top and then the white and the black. <clears throat> and I'm going to roll this on the pasta machine again on the thickest setting, which is a number zero on my pasta machine and because I want to make this um, longer so I'm going to roll it again Okay, so <clears throat> rolled it out. I'm going to roll it again on a number two. Took it down two settings. So I'm making it longer. Now I'm going to roll it out again one more time on a number three. I usually don't go past this because I don't want it just to um, get ripples on my blend. So now I'm going to trim the edges, just excess clay, and I'm going to trim it on both sides. Now for this brain cane, it's, um, it's a really easy cane. It's not really complicated. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to flip this. I want to make sure, try to see which color I'm going to start with. I'm just going to start with a darker, darker color. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to make a fold. Start with the fold and that's going to be my starting point. So the brinking pretty much is just going to make folds. Big folds, small folds, randomly going around the cane. <clears throat> so you're just going to start. And then I start the cane on, because there's two sides, the black one and the other side where the blend is. So I'm starting my blend, my, my cane on the, the other side where the Skinner blend is. So that's the side that is going to be showing on the outside. But you can do either or. You can do the black one and then the black one will be on the outside. So it's just a depend what you want to do. So you just go make folds and then you can go around the cane and then fold it again. And for this kind of land, um, sorry, for the the brain can you don't have to have a uh, you don't have to make a skin of blend you can use any color literally it's just um doesn't matter so you don't have to be as um you don't have to make a skin of blend so you're just gonna go ahead and start um folding and just pretty much doing that until you push the end of it Then just keep folding. And <clears throat> all right, so now. 
I'm gonna start reducing this. I'm gonna clean my tile. Gotta make sure you clean your tile. You don't wanna have that. Everything just sticks to it. So now I'm gonna reduce this, push it on one side, then push it on the other side. You wanna make sure you don't get any bubbles. Then roll it on the tile. Then push it again, roll it again. Only one more time. <clears throat> Just do it a couple more times until you feel uh, comfortable and then you want to cut it. Just. And then I'm going to grab my um, flexible blade and then I'm going to slice it. Cut on one side. That is, there's the prank cane. So now I'm reducing this um, squared and use your roller and then just flatten it out. And I have a little bubble there, I'm just gonna pop it, slice it with my blade. Now I'm cutting this in the middle. Then stick them together. So you can see there's a, a pattern there, a design. Now I'm going to um, reduce, reduce this a little bit more with my roller. I'm going to cut it on one side. <clears throat> I'm going to flatten it out a little bit more. Just flatten it out. Then I'm going to cut this again in the middle. And this is what I'm going to use for, um, for the pendant, for one side of the pendant. That's the green cane. Okay, so now I'm cutting pieces of the cane so I can make a veneer. I rolled out a piece of um, scrap clay on a medium thickness in the pasta machine, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut some pieces. And we're just going to start placing it on top of the clay, making sure you don't overlap them just next to each other. And after that, you're going to flatten it out really good using a printing paper and your roller. Just flatten it out very slightly. Now, for the next part of this tutorial, I'm going to use metal leaf. I rolled out a Alsaring on Primo on the Thick is sitting on my pasta machine. I'm using the metal leaf and the color of copper. And I'm going to use this to give it a crackle effect. Just make sure all the windows and fans are closed because this stuff will fly everywhere. And just um, place it very carefully using your fingers and just cut the excess and put it back and you can use this for another project.
and I'm going to I'm not going to put this through the pasta machine um, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit using my hands just to uh, give it that crackle effect to stretch it out and you can also use uh, translucent on top if you want if you want to sand it that's up to you if you want to sand it you will have to have you will have to use a uh, put on top a thin uh, sheet of translucent if you want to sand it but I'm not doing that I'm gonna leave it as it is so now I'm going to texture this um, using a um, texture sheet from Lisa Pavelka. I rolled out a black primo on the thickest sitting of the past machine. And this texture is used for, I think, for make borders. So I think it was it would be really cool to use it. Give her a spray with water. And then I'm going to place the clay. I'm going to place the texture sheet on the tile and the clay on top of the, the sheet, the texture sheet, and I'm going to use a sponge for this. I think the sponge really helps because it keeps the clay from moving around. And you use your, your roller and just roll it up and down. Rolling it up and down, and there's your your texture sheet. Okay, now so we had all the veneers ready. I rolled out a uh, sheet of clay on a medium thickness. I have my rain cane design, uh, and I have my crackle foil. And I have this strip of clay that I texture. And I put that one in the middle, in between those two. So just keep in mind, if you're doing three different veneers, they all have to have the same thickness. Just put them next to each other, making sure there's no gaps in between them. And just grab a piece of printing paper and smooth it out. Don't smooth out the middle because that one is the one that has the texture. So just make sure you smooth it out really good. Now I got my cutter. I'm gonna. This one is from Jasima Designs. It's a really, really good cutter. And I'll just place this where I wanted it to be. And then <clears throat> just push, push it really good. Make sure it goes all the way down to the tile and lift up that excess clay, uh, clay. And you're going to bake this uh, Primo recommended temperature, which is 275, on a tile and using a printing paper on the tile. And you're going to cover it for 30 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to texture the back. I'm using a sponge and a rolled out black primo on the thickest setting of the pasta machine. And um, 
I'm going to lift this up with my blade and we're going to use liquid clay because we have to bond it to the uh, baked bead. You're going to need liquid clay. Just put a little bit at the back. It's better when you do this after it's baked because if you try to do it, you can do it when it's not baked, but especially if you're doing the sides or your texture in it, you don't want to, you don't want the your bead to get distorted. So sometimes it takes more than two steps. Anyway, so just place the bead on the clay with the textures facing down, and then you're gonna cut it. You could use your cutter, but I want to have a lot of clay so I can texture the sides. You're just going to cut it, and then you're going to cut the excess on the sides. You're going to bring the clay over the, the edges, and then um, you're going to cut it, cut the excess, bring it to the edges, and with the texture with the sponge you're going to texture it more and texture the back as necessary just keep doing it until you're done completely now i'm going to place the bell i'm sorry that this this wasn't on the shot on the camera but i'm made a, a pocket and i placed the bell in, be in between inside the pocket with a little bit of liquid clay I put a little bit of clay on the bale, then I place it inside the pocket, and I texture the back again, and just bake it again for an hour. Now that this is baked, we're going to um, use varathane to seal this, because you want to seal this, especially because you have a crackle foil and all that stuff. So you want to seal this with Varathane. You're going to need a brush and just brush it. I'm going to do two coats and I'm going to let it dry for 30 minutes and then coat, give it another coat and let it dry for another 30 minutes. Hey guys, so here's our finished bead. Uh, you can see how the Vera thing gave it a really nice shine. I put um, two coats. I think that was enough. Vera really, really came out really nice. If you can see it. And there's the back. But yeah, so I hope you like this video. Please subscribe so I can make more tutorials. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.